And hello, boys and girls. This is your old pal, Uncle Al, aka Die Bullfrog79. And hello. And today's topic is something really fun. So please hit the like button around there someplace. Or and hit the notification bell. Today we're going to learn about future animals of the future. This is when mankind goes kaput and all these wonderful little animals run amok. We can thank Hubble's cat. Hubble's cat has a great channel. Please check him out. Okay, Canada screwed up royally. We get two feral exotic animals that come from Canada. The Canadian elephant. Elephant might be extinct in Africa and Asia, but some goofball scientist in Canada, you can blame Hubble's cat, it's in Toronto, is taking dead genes from dead mastodons <coughs> and trying to recreate a mastodon. They goofed and created the Canadian elephant. So the nice thing is, Elephants have returned to North America, and we can't get rid of them. If you think dog poo is bad on the sidewalk, think of Canadian elephant poo all over the place. Go jogging and slip in a pile of that. The elephants are kind of docile, not like their African cousin or their wilder uh, Asian cousins. They're very domesticated. People get them for pets and continue on spreading the brood. Now, the Canadian elephant is a little smaller than the three. It lasts longer like the mammoth. It has a slightly woolen coat, not a full woolen coat, and can adapt into any conditions. And it breathes like gophers. <coughs> Thank you, Canada. The other thing is, the Siberian tiger. Now, see my little pointy hat? Yes. The Siberian tiger is great as rescued from extinction through the great works of the Toronto zookeeper. They took all the tiger genes and proved it. Now we have the Canadian tiger, no longer Siberian tiger. Enjoys the snow of Canada, eating Eskimos, eating everything else. They replaced the polar bear as a predator in Canada. Thank you, Canada. We have now the Canadian elephants, <coughs> which the Canadian tiger eats. Also people. You think wolves are bad? Think of Canadian tigers. Oh no, I went to school. I was chased by a big Canadian tiger, or my kid was eaten by a Canadian tiger. My baby was eaten by a Canadian tiger. Thank you, Toronto. Okay, down on state sites, it might already happen. Uh, South America, they had these giant water rats that invaded Louisiana in the 30s. And people were trying to raise them for meat or some kind of weird project. Well, they invaded California. We don't want them, but they came. Great. Now we have these giant 25-pound rats all over the place. And who's the blame? Thank you, PETA. Uh, usually that problem solved with uh, boas and pythons which is all over the south like Kutsu. Great. We have sharks, and crocodiles, and alligators up and down the Mississippi. Something changed their biological clock, so they breed faster, the meaner, and bigger. Also, they chase people on land, too. That's sharks, uh, crocodiles, and uh, alligators. Great. Little refreshment. Thank you, future animals. A quick shout out to 
Puerto Rico ready. Hey, Puerto Rico, we gotta see more videos. Survival Russia, Stalgren, West Wind Survival, please check out his channel. Tell Uncle Alan Cinch over there. Good Navy person. Myra T, uh, uh, TCK, Christine, uh, uh, conservative views by Christine. Myra, try to calm down, girl. Calm down, calm down. Okay. Steve Foco, go check out his channel. Steve, you got to save about $2,600 again. Thanks to the Democrats, I had King Weird. And also a little bit of Trump. Uh, Walker Outdoors. Rob Penis. I hope that reindeer plays Rob. I keep praying, but I keep missing most of the pan help. I think I got it last time, but I'm not too sure. Uh, prep now prepper uh, panhandle preppers now panhandle preparedness so good so everybody go watch his channel and uh, Jordan Jakenberg from Sweden keep it up uh, inspire John and we won't forget just in time prepping every Wednesday and Saturday. By Will, Wednesday in the morning he has a live stream, and at night on Saturday at 8 o'clock Mountain Time. Will's hosting, please join the board. Uh, don't forget JR Survival, Malcolm's channel in England. He has many books out on Amazon, please buy them, help him out. Uh, Jordan J. J, 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 J Jordan's channel. Uh, please donate to his PayPal. Never have a stroke. You always. Okay. Inspired John. Check out his channel. He got an insert. One of these days, I got to do a video on that. Uh, Red Dog Survival. Prepared to Thrive. I'll come back to Prepared in just a second. Uh, music man, prepare to thrive. Another Navy man. Also, big problem. He's trying out uh, his free dri dried meals, which is good. But you only do it for three. Am I holding up three fingers? Yep, three days worth. And you always lace the meal. Get a little bottle and you lace the meal with either coconut oil or olive oil. Mix it up, then eat it. Okay, and drink hot liquid like tea. Uh, me, I just drink plain hot water <coughs> or a hot broth soup like the Chinese or Filipino. I like fish bone soup myself, but nobody ever eats it on stateside. So, anyway, listen to your old uncle, all right, and that'll stop your constipation. Two, when you do freeze dried foods, this is before they had the nice little things. I had to build my own, so I know what I'm talking about. Okay, freeze dried changes the molecules, the fat molecules, into some kind of weird things. It's okay to eat, but doesn't digest normally in your lower GI tract. It turns like cement, and when you go to the bathroom, it won't flush down the toilet. It sort of clogs up, and you have to call Rotor Rooter to clean it out. And sometimes the blades break because it's like cement. Okay, <coughs> and you don't want to get the knife out, middle of the knife, and start hanging away the dude. So remember, olive oil or coconut oil, and you eat a bowl of oatmeal every morning with dry fruit that's hydrated with hot water, a little bit more coconut oil, and that lubricates your guts. Jeez. I have to teach you guys because nobody's teaching you this old stuff. See, us old timers, we know. And there's not too many of us around. And Uncle Alan's kind of me. Okay? So remember, coconut oil. Now, you're probably experiencing, because you did the 
five-day trial of go check his channel prepare to survive his channel he's eating five days of freeze-dried foods and next week or two he's going to be sitting on the toilet screaming his head off so a lot of hot li liquids and oatmeal for the next two weeks young man <coughs> remember when you do freeze dried folks, you gotta watch it on the fat content. It's fine, but if you want, you could use a five day treatment and see how well you go to the bathroom screaming. And don't forget, you need one of these to hack away the doo doo. Okay, back to uh, weird animals. I'm trying not yet to get too long. Anyway, I'll catch you later, boys and girls. I'm doing a whole bunch of videos today, and I'm trying to keep them short. Bye.